Hi my vixens, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Valerie and if I can get her in the shot, this is Violet. <laughs> She's my little co-hostess. She's my co-hostess doggy. So welcome, I'm glad you guys are all here. So um, I haven't been on for a while. I just wanted to get this out of the open. I haven't been on for a while and it's nothing to do with um, you know, not wanting to be on here or anything like that. It's just, I've been um, just trying to take care of my health. I've been making a lot of lifestyle changes in my um, life the last six months, in my probably six months or so. And um, some have been fails and some have been positives. So I thought I'd get on here and let you guys know what's been going on. Um, so um, if you don't know, I'm going to give you a little recap. I am 53 year old female, um, postmenopausal woman that has type two, type two diabetes. Uh, I have high blood pressure. I have degenerative disc disease. And I also feel like I have some neuropathy, not a whole lot, but a little bit of neuropathy in my foot, feet and my hands. And um, I also have asthma. So um, back in October, October 2019, yeah, um, I quit smoking, and uh, so when I quit smoking, I just started eating in place of smoking. So I gained quite a bit of weight, and um, <clears throat> it did not help my diabetes, and I was not on any medication for diabetes. My doctor keeps wanting to push me and push me onto medications, and he... If he had his way about it, I'd be on like three or four different medications. And I just don't want to do that. So um, I started looking around um, for options. I knew I had to get the weight off of me. So um, I joined Weight Watchers last spring. And it was going really well. I mean, for the first several months, everything was going well, you know. Um, I felt like my blood sugar levels were coming down. And then I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, bam, it just started reversing. Like I, bam, would not, could not lose any more weight. I lost like 10 pounds and like I wasn't losing any more weight. And it was taking me forever to lose the weight. And so I didn't know what to do. I was like really dumbfounded. I thought if this, you know, how am I going to get this weight off of me and reverse this if I can't lose any weight? So I was really didn't know what to do. I mean, I was exercising. I was, you know, watching everything I ate. I was, you know, counting calories and plus uh, doing the point system and um, that kind of stuff. And I was taking in about the right amount of carbs that my nutrition uh, people, when I turned, when I became diabetic, had told me I should be eating. Um, I was eating several times a day, like they told me, you know, so um, Weight Watchers kind of backed up a lot of things that, you know, um, the nutritionist at my diabetes classes told me and I've been diabetic for I'm gonna say nine years maybe ten and um, so I was just dumbfounded I didn't know what to do I didn't know I thought maybe I should just take the stupid medicine and be done with it but I didn't want to do that so um, I started getting around on YouTube and on the internet and stuff and started listening to some doctors that I, I found on there and um, the one, Dr. Jason Fong, was really, really spoke to me about um, type 2 diabetics and intermittent fasting. And um, I found another doctor, Dr. S I think it's Dr. Sarah Halberd. She's with Verda Health, I think. Um, was on, on as well, talking about... Um, the study that they were doing here in my home, not my hometown, but my home state um, in Indiana, down in, uh, I think Lafayette, Indiana, Indianapolis area. And um, so that was like, oh, wow. So I started really listening to them speak, their speak and their talks and stuff on YouTube. And what they were saying really made a lot of sense. Uh, Sarah Hallberg, Dr. Sarah Hallberg was about all about the ketogenic diet for type two diabetics and they were doing these studies and was showing that this was reversing diabetes. This was reversing type two diabetes and 
people who had been on medications and insulin and everything for years and years and years and years were reversing the type 2 diabetes in like really good time. And I thought, wow, you know, and then I thought, but you know, I don't have a gallbladder. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do a ketogenic diet. And then I think it was Dr. Ken Berry I seen on YouTube was talking about, you don't have to have a gallbladder to do, be able to do ketogenic diet. So I, and then I seen some other doctors on there that were saying the same thing. So I was like really, uh, have been really getting into listening to them speak and, and I listened to them over and over and over again. Um, when I work, I put it, put an ear, a wireless ear thing in my ear and I just listened to them all night long about different things. And I have learned so much, um, so much. And so I thought, you know, finally I thought, you know what, I got to try it. You know, the Weight Watchers is not working for me. My diabetes is getting worse. My blood sugars are getting higher and higher and I was feeling horrible. I was just so tired and exhausted. And again, you know, and, um, so yeah, I switched everything over. So I quit that, uh, WW, which I really liked their program. I liked their program and it was easy and it was, but, but for me, if it wasn't working for me, I just can't do that. And, um, I'm not on here letting everybody know, oh, you should do this and this and this because I'm not a health professional, number one. And I'm not giving any medical advice to people. I'm just on here telling you what's going on with me and um, what I have found out for me. Um, so before anybody does anything, they should always contact their doctor and make sure that your doctor is approved of whatever you want to try or do. Okay, whether it's diet or exercise or intermittent fasting, whatever it is, you really need to check with your doctor first and do not take, quit taking your medications by all means. So anyway, so, um, all those disclaimers out there for you. Um, so, um, yeah, so I said, why not? So I started really looking into what it, what was a ketogenic diet and that's where I started. And the first thing I did is just started getting rid of the carbs. I mean, really getting rid of the carbs. And, um, I was told in diabetic school that, um, we should be eating about two to four servings of carbs per meal. Now a serving and their, their measurement was the, uh, one serving of a carb is 15 grams. So if it was up to them, I'd be eating minimum of like. 15 to 30 grams per meal and that's if you do three meals that's almost 100 grams of carbohydrates and that didn't include the snacks that they said we should do as well and that we should be eating you know constantly you know every few hours we should make sure we have something in our system and to make our blood sugar level and so forth which I didn't know a whole lot I mean I just had become diabetic and everything you know even when I started this journey I didn't know a lot of things that I found out and so um, I started with the carbs I started getting rid of the carbs and lowering the carbs and um, started eating you know more ketogenic I didn't do a whole lot of fat right away because um, I had heard that um, if no gallbladder you kind of want to ease into the fat kind of fat area so that's how I kind of got started into it and everything and, um, yeah, I'm going to start doing, I'm still going to do some unboxings and that kind of stuff and try-ons. Um, but I think I'm going to do some more about the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting as well. Um, so I, um, did, I, so far I've done eight weeks of intermittent fasting. I did four weeks of, or no, I'm sorry. I did ketogenic diet. I did four weeks of keto only. And I was really, after four weeks, I'm like, hmm, this is pretty good. I like the food and everything tastes good. And I had increased my fat and so forth. And I kept learning more and more and more. And so then I had really been listening a lot to Ms. Dr. Jason Fung um, after four weeks of, you know, doing the um, ketogenic diet. And I wasn't really happy with where my blood sugars were at. They had dropped a lot. 
but not into the normal ranges. They were still high. So I decided to add on some fasting. So I started doing intermittent fasting. And I'll tell you what, every week since then, my blood sugars have went down and down and down. And um, I'm still not like have lost much weight. I had gained like, by the time I decided to switch over, I had started gaining weight back doing the Weight Watchers. I had gained like four pounds back. And then within the first couple weeks um, of doing um, keto, um, my, um, I had lost that weight back. I'm sorry. I had lost the four pounds back. Um, so, and then I have just done, I mean, I've only lost about like 11 pounds total, but I kind of went back and forth, back and forth. And, um, then I, I learned that if your insulin levels are high, there's, you're not going to lose weight. And I'm like, and that's what a type two diabetics problem is, is your underlying cause of the, the diabetes is your insulin levels are too high. And so then I started learning about different ways to control those insulin levels. One was intermittent fasting and two was don't eat as much as often when you are eating instead of eating three meals a day and every couple hours and that because every time you eat your insulin shoots up, you know, you, you start releasing insulin out into your body. So, um, to not eat as often, you know, you know, if you want to eat three meals, eat three meals, do not snack in between the meals. And so I started implementing a lot of these things and I'm happy to tell you guys today, I went to the doctor and for my A1C results, since I've been starting this. So I've been on doing this. I did ketogenic for eight weeks and I have done, um, the last four weeks intermittent fasting with it. And, um, and then this last week I also implemented some, uh, uh keto chow, uh, replacement meal shakes that I am really in love with. And, um, so I did my A1C test and I went to the doctor today and last time, 30 day or 90 days ago, um, my A1C was 9.6, which is very, very high. And today with no medication, I'm not on medications for my diabetes today, just by changing into the ketogenic diet and um, fasting, and I have dropped off my exercise. I really haven't even been doing a lot of exercise. I've worked out a few times here and there, but I've really backed that off and because I feel like my body needs healing, it needs to be healed before I really stress it out with some other stuff. So anyway, so today, drum roll plays. <laughs> I went from 9.6 90 days ago to 7.3. That is a huge drop. Even my doctor was like, oh my gosh. She goes, so he goes, what do you go? How you been? And I said, I've been good. I said, I've been working on, you know, really working hard on this diabetes thing. He goes, yeah, I can tell. And he handed me the paper and he goes, you're at 7.3. I was like, oh my gosh. So if you guys don't know, six and under is, or six and six under six is normal. And over six is like six to seven, I think is pre-diabetic and anything over seven is diabetic. So this is working and I feel so much better. I am feeling a lot better, guys. I'm not as tired and worn out. I feel like I have some energy. I've been getting some things done here at home and caught up. I've been making um, cooking again, which I love to cook. So I've been uh, cooking and I've been finding you know a lot of different ketogenic um uh, recipes online and I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube channels um, that I'm going to link some of those below I believe if I can try if I can figure out how to link them I don't know guys I am not bad I'm not really good with that um, but I will name the channels below um, if I can't find links and do links with them um, but I've been listening to Dr. Jason Fung number one um, Dr. Ken Berry Dr. Sarah Hallberg and um two crazy ketos um keto chow and i have really found a lifestyle that i think i can really live with this um i i can still have 
things that I enjoy on the on this diet and or lifestyle. It's not a diet, but um, and I enjoy it, and I really do enjoy it. I'm even enjoying not eating, um, because for so long it has just been such a pain to think. Okay, I got to figure out. I got to eat this and this and this, and it has this many carbs and log everything and and oh my gosh, it, it, it you know it's got this many calories, it's this, this many carbs. You know, I gotta watch everything, and and I've just got rid of carbs and sugar and grains. I'm not doing grains anymore. So like each week, I just start you know dropping off this or changing that, and I am enjoying it. I really am. So that's where I've been. I have been busy working hard on my health, and when all else, when it comes down to it, I you know my health has to come first. So um, now that I'm feeling better, I want to get back on here and. You know, let's go at it. So, um, I do have some Nadine West coming in, of course. Um, I was doing Boxy Charm, but I just canceled Boxy Charm because I'm getting way too much makeup and skincare. So, um, but I am thinking about starting um, uh, another subscription box. It is uh, like keto based, and I'm kind of interested in doing some of those. So, if any of you are doing keto, let me know down below. And if there's anything I should try out and do, let me know. Um, so the main thing is right now I'm looking for electrolytes, a good electrolytes to, to get to start taking because I really had, did get the keto flu and I am struggling with some muscle cramps and stuff like that. So I'm trying to find some good electrolytes um, and what I'm using really isn't that great. But then when I got the keto chow, keto chow's got the electrolytes in it. So that has really been helping me a lot too. So, um, yeah, let me know below if you guys are doing keto, if you're doing intermittent fasting, if you've heard of any of these people that I've talked about and, um, what your thoughts are and that kind of thing. So I also want to stress that in no way am I saying that WW is really a bad diet, um, or that it's horrible. Um, you know, what works for one person may not work for somebody else. So that's all I'm saying is this is what has worked for me. Um, like I said, being a 53 year old postmenopausal diet type 2 diabetic, asthmatic, um, high blood pressure um, type woman, you know, and who's aging and um, who really needs the help. Um, I really needed to make changes because when I retire, I want to still feel good. I still want to be able to move and go do things and enjoy my life, you know. I don't want to be um, worrying about illnesses and and not being able to have any movement and motion in my body. Um, I want to feel good, you know. I want to enjoy life. Um, so, yeah, that's that's one of the main reasons. And, you know, the diabetes is going to kill me. You know, if I don't get it under control, it's going to kill me. And I've learned that too. And I also learned all the medications that the doctor, my doctor was trying to push me on. Um, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to mask, mask the problems and make the problems worse, make the symptoms worse. So they're trying to treat my blood sugar when they need to be treating my insulin levels. And so I decided, you know, I'm taking it upon myself and I did it. I'm doing it on my own with the help of these YouTubers. So these people are great. And I think, if any of them see this video, I just want to thank them and um, I, I need to get on their on their channels and thank them because, yeah, I just feel so ex exhilarated that this is really working and I didn't realize it was really working. I felt like it was, but um, you don't know until you really start seeing it like in your A1C testing tests. So I'm going to get off here and um, I hope everyone's doing well. And I missed you guys. I've missed everybody. And Violet's missed doing the videos too. So hopefully we'll be back on here on a regular basis and have some good fun stuff to do. Um, I, there's so many other things I want to talk to you guys about um, with my uh, you know new lifestyle that um, hopefully uh, you guys are wanting to hear about it. So I will talk to you guys later. If you're new to the channel, never been here before, um, check out my old videos. Um, they're not old, old, but check out some of my other videos that I've got on here. And um, if you like what you see, um, we'd love to have you as a family member, you know. S click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell and you'll be notified of all my new uploaded videos. So, I will guys see you guys later and you guys take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Love you.